All right, guys, today I'm putting this console in the truck. This is a newer uh, 07 to 13, I believe, middle console. And the cool thing about these consoles is they bolt straight into the 03 to 07 classics. You can see the bolt patterns here, there, there on the other side. And I can show you the old consoles. Sorry about the lighting, it's in my building and I don't have power out here yet. But you see uh, bolts here, you got the two here, and then same on the other side. So it bolts directly in and replaces the, it's kind of ugly to me. Um, you don't got that, you have more room, they have more leg room. And then on the back of the new one, there's cup holders back here for the back seats. Just like I was talking about here, here are the cup holders for the back seats. You've also got a whole bunch more storage room. You got three cup holders instead of two in the front. You got this whole piece that lifts up obviously into the jump seat. And then you got a compartment under here, to store a lot more stuff. There's also a, a phone charger port down there. And uh, I'm probably gonna show you guys how to wire that up. Probably should have done that before I put the carpet in the truck, but it's not a big deal. I'll probably actually do it when I change that underneath bolster panel and I'm back in there with all the cigarette lighter stuff. But the only thing that stinks is these lock. And unless you get it out of a junk truck that you can get the keys for, you're gonna have to get like a locksmith or something to make you a key for that or make you a new lock. But I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm not gonna be storing anything in there that needs to be locked. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to get that in the truck. on the tripod now. As you can see, my interior's already out. I've made a video already about how I took all the, the seats in the middle console out. I think that's part three of the interior swap. If you wanna go check that video out and see how to take them out. I'm just gonna be putting the middle console in and I obviously can't bolt it down until I put the seats back in. So I'll show you guys how to get that in. All right guys, so here is the new center console. Obviously it's backwards. I just kind of put it in weird. But I'm just gonna be showing you kind of how easy it is to set this in here. Again, if you wanna see the old console come out and the seats come out, uh, that'll be part three. And there it is in the truck. I'll get back to this with the seats actually in here. And these are the holes. You didn't have to you don't have to drill any any new holes. It goes straight into the factory holes that bolts right down with your seat. It goes really, really good with everything. I don't know if they use the same uh, floor pan as the other trucks, but I mean it it goes with it perfectly. Like it almost looks like it's made to be in this truck. And the color difference really I heard, I've heard some people talk about a color difference. I honestly don't really see one. The material is a little different, but as far as the color, I think it's about the same, but I guess we'll find out when we get the actual black front seats in here. All right, so that's it for the center console swap. Um, wasn't a very long video. I didn't really plan it to be. Uh, I just know a lot of people wanna know about it and look it up and it's super, super simple. So don't let it scare you. The only thing that will scare you is probably the price of some of them. Because if you want to buy one off eBay new, it's like 500 bucks or more. Or you may find some in the high 200s. I actually got really, really lucky and found that one for super, super cheap that some guy was selling off Facebook. I got lucky. You can get lucky. Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, stuff like that is your friend. That's it for that video. Thanks for watching and until next time.